It's not going to turn on until there's enough hydrogen pressure, so we'll see what happens. Are we generating hydrogen? We're about to find out. Oh boy! This is so exciting! Some of my good friends on the rowing team were like, oh, you've got to take this class. It's great. If you're the kind of person who loves to build things, then you're in the right place. We're working on projects that have been tried and failed. They bring us these very interesting real-world issues. Is it hydrogen coming? What we're trying to do is harness the electricity that's inherent in aluminum as an element by reacting it with water. I see like big air bubbles going. Oh, 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 oh. The idea is to build something that works. So it's run as close to a realistic startup as possible, which means that you need to use every resource you can get your hands on. We've had one company spin out of this class. We have access to a bandsaw, to a mill, to a lathe, all of these things that you need to rapid prototype. You can make the argument that you'll scale it up with a regulator. This class teaches you to collaborate effectively. Really important factors are the hydrogen production rate. And you learn a lot when you're doing something that no one has ever done before. We're going to run into things that no one understands yet. That's what makes it such an engaging experience is because there is no specific right answer. It's the circuit for the salt water. If the Navy likes our system, they do intend to start testing it in September. The Russians and the United States have both been looking at aluminum as a fuel for underwater vehicles for 25 years and have not succeeded. Our class has succeeded.